Hi, I'm Mike from 3-Bit Friends. Today I'm going to show you how you can go from this plain base plate into this cobbled street. Okay, if you've been around LEGO for as long as I have, you'll have amassed quite a lot of these LEGO base plates. The road system from many, many years, and they've just recently been replaced by a new road system, but these things will be around for a long time, I'm sure. They're very versatile, however, they are very plain. If you wanna take this and refresh it, why not get a sticker? Okay, so I know this might be a bit controversial. They're not Lego stickers, they are just stickers. When it comes to stickers on Lego, you'll see from my haunted fairground, I've printed many stickers before. Okay, so you wanna go from plain old base plate, plain old world plate, all the way to cobblestone road with grassy mounds on the bank. Well, it's not actually difficult. What you need is some grey tiles for the curbstone, a bit of brown, a bit of green plates, and some foliage, and this sticker. So these are vinyl printed. They're actually made for model railway enthusiasts to stick on their roadways. And um, they're brilliant. They're A4, they come A4. Here we are, look. Here's the whole pack of them. Um, they're not expensive at all, but they are sticky back vinyl and you can cut them to exactly the right size, stick them on your base plate. You'll cover up all of this road markings, all of these grills which you make anyway with modified plates. So should we get ahead and have a look and see how we do that? First thing to do is to get your guillotine. Here's your guillotine. Right, we're going to measure up the distance that we need. So what we want to do is cover up as much of this as possible. Even if the plates go over it, it's fine. It's really thin stuff. It's not gonna make any difference. We wanna get the perfect length as well so that we're not leaving a weird gray gap when the base plates are butted up against each other. So it's as simple as that. We just um, measure it up and cut it. Yep, just get that measurement and then make sure it's definitely at a right angle. Cut across there. And then if we put that in there, that is pretty damn good, I think. So we will then get the length. Again, put it under the guillotine. Make sure your length is okay. The line of the guillotine. There we go. And that is a uh, pretty good match. In fact, I might take another couple of millimeters off just to make sure. Yep, that is a great match. So all we do from there is take the backing off it and stick it on and you've got yourself another base plate covered. Now, of course, how you cover it is up to you. This is going to be used in a future project Therefore, that's why I've picked these cobbles. It's probably good to... Base plate with cobbles. And then next to that one. Doesn't look too bad. Pretty good, in fact. So what you can do, of course, is you get any sticky you want. This could be cobbles, it could be brick, it could be anything you like. To make this out of plates on their side would cost you an absolute fortune. But to do it in stickers, you're talking a pound a sticker, job done. I think it works brilliantly and I think that is a great example of what you can do with the banks to make them much more realistic. Okay, so if you like this video, please do watch the two that are coming up in a minute. Also hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. If you want to share it with your friends, that would be great too. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.